song, The Immortal Stairway to Heaven, is a great example of a concept called composite minor harmony. Composite minor harmony is the practice of borrowing notes from multiple parallel minor scales. For the most part, we're borrowing from scales that have variances in the sixth and seventh scale degrees. So if we look at all these minor scales, we would see that the first five notes of all these scales are the same, all the minor scales, that is. It's in the last few notes of the scale, the sixth and seventh scale degrees, that we have variation. So really, this is a composite minor scale. It has one, two, flat three, four, five, and then a flat six and a major six and a flat seven and a major seven. And by varying these pitches, we get different shades of brighter and darker colors within a minor modality. There's also the additional scale called Phrygian, which has a flat two, which could be included in this group. It's not written out here. Uh, now, to understand how this works, uh, you can look at this diagram. This is a diagram representing a comparison between A major and A natural minor. You can see that all the red notes are the same in both scales. Uh, the, the places where there's no blue, those notes are the same. We have a root that's the same. We have a major second interval above the root. We have a perfect fourth above the root. We have a perfect fifth above the root. But where we have variations is we have, in the minor scale, we have a uh, note which is a minor third, which is a uh, note that is one half step closer to the tonic. Moving in this direction creates a darker harmonic and melodic texture in the music. Instead of this, we get same with the sixth scale degree. Instead of the bright major six, we get and instead of the bright major seventh, It's a leading tone, we get flat seven. So when those three darker notes, those, those notes that are one half step closer to the tonic, therefore they are minor intervals and therefore they are written with the prefix flat, meaning one half step less than major or perfect, those sounds are create a darker texture and the overall scale is sadder. Here's a major. Here's A minor. So anytime we introduce a note that's closer to the tonic than it would occur in a major scale, you are darkening the sound of the music. All right, so if we look at these various scales, we can see that just by looking at the, the intervals that are flatted, we see where the darker elements are. Um, natural minor is three degrees darker than major. Harmonic minor is two degrees darker than major. Melodic minor is only one degree darker than major. And Dorian is two degrees darker than major. It has a major six instead of a flat six. So these are, think of it as like an artist playing with different degrees of dark and light in a painting. When you mix and match these various notes, you are varying the color and texture of your minor key sound. And this is what's happening in Stairway to Heaven. <clears throat> it starts off with a straight minor chord, and then it, it uses that G sharp, then it goes to a G, flat seven, then major six in the bass, F sharp is a major six above A, then flat six, F, and then back to an Aeolian cadence. So Aeolian, or natural minor, is the most standard minor key song um, scale and sound. Um, but songs that are entirely Aeolian, are, are, though very common, are a little bit less varied than songs which use 
which have borrowed notes and chords from other parallel minor scales like Stairway to Heaven. Um, here's another example of a composite minor song which makes use of a variety of chords. Um, let's take a look actually at our composite minor chart here for a minute before we do this. So it turns out, just like in a major key, we have different harmonic functions for different uh, chords. There's tonic minor function, and the defining note for that is having the flat third scale degree as a low chord tone, a chord tone that is low in the chord, meaning closer to the root. So like having flat three major seven, the flat three is the root, or one minor, the flat three is the third. That gives it that tonic minor sound, which is a stable function in a minor key. Examples of tonic minor chords are one minor seven, one minor major seven, uh, one minor six, and then of course all the flat three chords, flat three major seven, flat three augmented major seven, um, and then there's one exceptional one which is six minor seven flat five. The reason this is tonic minor is because it's actually an inversion of one minor six. If you take the notes of one minor six and reorder them starting on F sharp, you get an F sharp minor seven flat five. So those are our tonic minor sounds. Again, flat three as a low chord tone, with the exception of flat six uh, minor, I mean six minor seven flat five, which has flat three still in the chord, but it's the flat fifth of the chord. Okay, the next function in minor, which is the most common one, is flat is subdominant minor, and the important note there is the flat six scale degree. Flat six scale degree as a chord tone anywhere gives you um, subdominant minor function. So something like this. That sound. Flat six, two, five, or solfege, la, sol. A uh, good example of this would be what it would sound like if I did, say, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but harmonized in Aeolian. It uh, has a very, obviously, darker, sadder sound than it would in major. And that... Flat six is really important because it, it's a very powerful note because it's a half step above the fifth. It has a strong tendency to want to re resolve down to the fifth. And it's um, it's almost like a leading tone, but in reverse. It's leading downward very powerfully. So it's often used as a cadential chord, a chord that's leading back to one or giving us a surprise move to some other chord. Uh, subdominant minor chords are very common in natural minor. Um, two minor seven flat five, four minor seven, flat six major seven, flat seven seven. They also occur in harmonic minor in some places. And, but it that's the only place because it has to be in a scale that has flat six scale degree. And of course, melodic minor and Dorian don't have a flat six scale degree, they have a major six. So again, the, the requirement for flat six, I mean for subdominant minor, is to have flat six as a chord tone. The next category we're going to talk about is modal subdominant. This is when you have a major sixth in the scale, but in a minor scale. Obviously, there's a major six in a major scale as well, but a uh, major six in a minor scale gives you a uh, this interesting mixture of dark and darkness and brightness. That's the sound of Dorian, for example. And um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with, say, um, for example, uh, Dorian has a four major triad or a four seven chord instead of four minor. It has that mi six minor seven flat five that we talked about earlier, and it has a nice flat seven major seven, for example. So here's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in Dorian. <laughs> So it's got a cool dark minor sound, but with that little extra tinge of brightness on the sixth scale degree. Um, 
So that's what modal subdominant is, a major sixth in a minor tonality. And the final category is MC, meaning modal cadence. So these are this is for chords that don't have that don't fall into the other three categories. A most prominent example of this is five minor. Five minor doesn't have a flat six scale degree, so it's not subdominant minor. It doesn't have a major six scale degree, so it's not modal subdominant. And it doesn't have the flat three as a low chord tone, so it's not a tonic minor. But yet, it is an important cadential chord. It sounds like this. Um, Um, another one is when you have just a triadic version of flat six seven, flat seven seven. So you don't have that uh, telltale flat six scale degree, which is the seventh of this chord, the note F. So if you don't, if you just have the triadic version of this chord, then it's kind of not quite modal. It's not quite subdominant minor because it doesn't have flat six scale degree anymore. So it's just a cadence chord like this, like the end of Stairway to Heaven. sound of flat seven triad going up to one minor. Okay, so those are our various uh, functions in minor, and th these are the, all the harmonies generated by the four most common composite minor scales. There's also Phrygian, which has a very important flat two major chord. It's not listed on this document, but it should be included as another possibility. That's where this B would become a B flat. Uh, yet another darker note. It sounds like this. And a good example of that is in um, this song by, or this song that was recorded by Yeba. And you can see it has an A minor immediately going to a B flat. to four major. This song uses a lot, a wide variety of composite minor chords. So we'll take a look at that in class probably. Um, anyway, so that's the summation of composite minor. Now I'm making a separate video about chord scales in minor keys. So you can watch that next.